how to install Google Ads conversion tracking on a WordPress site and track contact form 7 form submissions. In this video session, I'm going to show you how you can track contact form 7 submissions with Google Ads conversion tracking and show you how that's meant to be done correctly. So once you create your Google Ads conversions, then you'll have an option to email the instructions to a web developer, use Google Tag Manager, but let's install it ourselves because that may be smarter. Here we have options. See code for HTML, leave that as such. Now, if you're not using Google Analytics, you're just using your WordPress site and you're running Google Ads and you're using Contact Form 7 and you say to yourself, you know what, I'm running ads, but when someone contacts me, because that's your objective running Google Ads as an example, then you want to be able to track that. You want to add value to that. So therefore, you know, your costs with Google Ads, then you can compare the costs to your conversions on your WordPress site using Contact Form 7, okay? So let's imagine the global tag has never been installed on your HTML pages. If you select that, then Google Ads conversion tracking code creates this sample snippet for you that you need to add to your WordPress site. So let's go and do that. To be able to do that, remember, although you could log into your WordPress dashboard, identify the theme that you're using. You can press on theme editor. Most setups will give you an option to edit the theme from your WordPress dashboard. So if you were to press on that theme editor link, then select header.php file, press on it, and then locate head tag, make some room. Let's place that. Google Ads conversion tracking tag to be placed on your site. Okay, so you can place that in header.php file from your WordPress dashboard. Having said this, I strongly encourage you not to follow this option because editing anything on a WordPress site from the dashboard, what if things go wrong? Then your site will break. Instead, log into your web hosting account, press on File Manager, then browse into WP-Content. In there, you'll have Themes folder. Within that, is the theme that you're using. Browse into it, right click and download header.php file. So you make a local backup. Then you can right click and press on edit and modify things from your web hosting account. But since we've downloaded, I'll show you my local copy, header.php file, we simply find head portion and then let's just paste our tag here okay so then we need to upload that file back onto the server okay so you could modify that from web hosting here i'm just doing it locally because it's color coded and i'll zoom in it makes much more sense and it's more clear so what's next since we want to track WordPress contact form 7 form submissions then we need to do something else here it says click select that copy the event snippet and let's paste that somewhere just underneath the the first code we've placed inside header.php file next what we need to do is let me copy this. Where are we? Okay. Make some room. 
what we need to do is when someone sends contact form from contact page we then need to call Google Ads conversion tracking function okay now at this moment remember if we follow this option right if we simply place everything as Google Ads gives us then that's gonna all this script is gonna be shown on every single page on our website now, what if what if your website only has a contact page and within that contact page is where your contact form 7 is located now if that's the case this is a smarter way to go about that you simply create a PHP code and say if is underscore page name of the page in our example is just contact but if it was contact us if it was thank you page whatever you want to track now where do I get that from I get that from the URL so whatever the name of the page is we place there and say okay you know what WordPress if someone is on contact page that is when you bring out all this code and let's end if so now Google Ads conversion tracking will only be shown you know behind the scenes so to speak on a page called contact and when the event mail sent which is a built-in contact form 7 function when that event occurs then send as we call this function which then sends an event to google ads okay so now uh, okay at this moment what if you're using google analytics if that's the case then select that and all google ads wants you to do is grab this code because if you're using Google Ads, then you'll already have some tracking code installed on your site, right? It'll be something else. It'll be perhaps different names and so on, right? Because you already have Google Analytics installed. If that's the case, you simply copy this code and then locate whatever the Google tag, Google Analytics tag that you have and simply place that line of code underneath. So you don't have to call two different scripts make sense so that's for the second option global site tag is already installed on all your pages but comes from a different google product such as google analytics if that's the case just grab that line of code locate the google analytics tracking code that's already installed on your site and then simply paste that google ads conversion tracking ID within that script okay but if not then you select the first option so at this moment all should be okay as in once you modify header.php file and place all that code within the head portion and if you only have the contact form on certain pages then only blurt out that tracking code for conversions on that pages only so it's not heavy page load at that moment you can perhaps you know visit a day or two particularly when the conversion happens as in you get an email you've already set up all the conversion tracking and then Google Ads conversion reports will show you that conversion has occurred but if it doesn't then you can actually use Google Tag Assistant, which is a Chrome extension, to be able to you know, record events on pages. Okay, so here I've got Google Analytics happening. That's what it's saying here, because this is a sample tutorial. I haven't installed the conversion tracking for Rankia website, but rather showing you how you can track mail sent 
on your contact form 7 plugin and use it with your google ads conversions okay now i thank you very much for learning with rankia if you benefit from this video session please do give it a like and share it and if you've got questions comments about google ads search engine optimization google search uh, webmaster tools which is the new search console then simply comment on video and i'll do my best to answer it when i log in to rank a youtube channel and i'll talk with you in the next video session